I just I just drank some cold instant coffee from with tap water. So I kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up. What's up? You're in my hotel right now. <laughs> yeah, got all my stuff laid out over here and just kind of going through it like just one last time because I need to get to bed pretty soon. Um, it's 7.20 right now, race starts at 6.15. I would like to get as much sleep as possible so that, like I'm probably gonna get up at about four o'clock, um, get breakfast, get all my stuff done, uh, pack up, get dressed but I'm also trying to mentally prepare myself for accepting any outcome tomorrow because tomorrow is really just a long run in the form of a race because the main thing the big show is the Mohican 100 in two weeks if I go out there and I like I said destroy myself just so that I can get a 50 miler and then screw up the Mohican 100 that's not good so Tomorrow's a long training day. I need to approach it like that and I need to make a smart decision and stop at 50K if that's what that means. There's no Wi-Fi here, so luckily I downloaded um, a couple like long YouTube running videos. One about Michael McKnight running the Colorado Trail, uh, setting the FKT on there. So I'm gonna watch that. Just try and think about, you know, just getting out there and just having a good day tomorrow. Get some sleep, wake up in the morning, ready to go. Waters. Got the tap water in here, so. Okay, let's go! Alright, they're asking everyone to make their way to the starting line, so. There it is, right over there. I should probably put this camera away and maybe get ready to race. <laughs> Bye. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> there it goes. Thanks, All right. Have a great day. Nice job, runners. <laughs> nice job. Oh, gosh. <sighs> this is going to be a day. This is going to be a day. I made it up the first big climb. It was really muddy, but not as bad as it could be. But the horse trail was deep. Um, so far, about two miles in. Tectonics are, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how good the grip is out here. They're really good for like dry running. We'll see. I think most of this course is gonna be dry, but there's gonna be a lot of mud, so we'll have to see about that.
I've just hit like 10 miles. A little over two hours. Uh, feeling okay. My knee's bugging me a little bit. But it's really hot. So, I don't know. We'll see how the next 12 miles shake out. That's when I have to decide what I'm doing today. And I know I should be practicing my pacing for Mohican a little bit better. <clears throat> my pace is right at 12 minutes and 20 seconds per mile and on average. So it should be a little slower, like 13 or 14, but I just don't want to be out here that long today. I want to get home at a, like a decent time, you know, get some sleep. So I have to work tomorrow at 6 a.m. So, I don't know. Overall, I'm having fun, but my motivation is just like not there. Well, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just get out of here with a 50K, regroup over the next two weeks, and hit Mohican a little bit more rested. I have to decide at 22 miles. That's where I see my drop bag. And I can either keep it at that aid station for the next time I come around at 42, or I can toss it in the truck with the 50K bags. So, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not feeling great right now though. Physically I feel fine, except for my knee. But uh, mentally I'm just not here. Uh, not here today. I don't know what it is. I've seen so many of you guys at this race. So many awesome people. And that's been really encouraging. Just being able to talk with all you guys a little bit. It's been really fun. But if I'm gonna do Mohican in two weeks, I just need to be smart. I can't bury myself today mentally, you know, like physically, I think I'd be fine to come back two weeks, do a hundred, but mentally, I need to get out of this funk. I can't bury myself. I need to be smart. Running easy, taking quick steps, keeping my cadence high, running with the ultra marathon gait. Uh, not out here running like I run on the roads. Just trying to keep it all calm and collected, controlled. Yeah. The sun's starting to peek through as well, so it's gonna start getting real hot soon. all the uphills it's just like they're not steep you know a couple hundred feet at a time um, just feels good to keep the same gear going the whole time I'm able to get into a little bit of a flow but stay positive I can't get too low that's what I'm focused on right now is staying positive and uh, yeah. 
because I need I need to go into Mohican feeling good. I just passed the spot that I got lost uh, three years ago at this race. And it's because this is not really a trail. This is like a shortcut bushwhacking section. I mean, there's sort of a trail here, but barely. And look, we're off trail. Off trail according to my Garmin. So this is good. Means I. So what we did last year or last time was there was a group of us and we were just running and we followed the horse trail that we were on for like a minute. We just kept following it and went way out of the way. So this is good. Pretty steep climb. And it's not like easy trail. You're lots of uneven footing. Stuff like this. Here we go. Made it out alive. Hey. Just hit 30 miles like a little bit ago. I'm on this freaking horse trail. Uh, it's just awful. This sucks. There's nothing about this that's fun right now. And these flies are killing me. So ready to be done. I think I'm about a mile from the finish. Oh, jeez. This is like OPSF all over again. Horse trails suck. I guess they're taking us through this so we can wash our feet and legs off. Really getting clean now. I'll come in at just over seven hours. Ugh. Not too bad. I quit taking gels about. My last one was probably an hour and a half ago, so. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Garmin says I burned 3,400 calories. I think I took about eight gels. It's 800 calories, so I'm on the verge of bonking right now. Calves are cramping. But we're just about done. All right, here it is, finish line. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. all she wrote 50k and we're done I just cleaned off my legs switched shirts pulled a tick off my leg that was cool it was like it wasn't latched on too bad but he was on there